Hey Geminis, so this is going to be your reading, your general tarot reading for September. So definitely subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on the bell notifications because I will be doing a love reading for September for Geminis and all signs as well as a um, astrology, like looking at your astrology and giving forecast that way so let's just get into this y'all and if you're new to my channel welcome i'm my sky and i am a vedic astrologer and tarot reader here to help you create your fortune using vedic astrology and the 27 nashatras in particular so i'm going to link down all the nashatras that are connected with jim and i down below and if you have any questions about the nashatras just let me know in the um bottom in the description box or in the comment section and there is a back to school sale going on right now where you can get all 27 the shakshu gems for the price of one so definitely that is a amazing deal so definitely get it if you're interested in learning about the 27 the shakshus and how to use them to create your fortune if you're as passionate about that as me so let's begin what is in store for gemini's Sun, moon, and rising for the month of September. I'm gonna get a card for each week and um, and then a card to create your fortune, and then in some af an affirmation card because y'all are Gemini's and Gemini's all about words and affirmations. So the first week, the energy is going to be the Six of Swords. So this is really moving forward towards where you're going and leaving behind what's no longer serving you um, and having that mental clarity in order to do so. And this is like a lot of energy. You have a lot of energy right now because of Mars being in Gemini right now. Sidereal Gemini. I'm a sidereal Vedic astrologer, if you didn't know. So I use that to also do my tarot readings and it all connects. Everything's connected, y'all. So yeah, this is what's going on for you the first week. So you're moving away from, I'm seeing that some of you guys are literally going to physically either take a trip or move away or get out of a situation that is um, basically draining your energy and draining your life force and draining your uh resources basically so you're moving forward and you're leaving behind what is not serving you during this first week what about the second week of september so we have a temperance card so this is really going to be about finding balance in your new location and if you don't physically move i'm seeing that this is an energetic move like you could energetically just not be available for anything for certain things anymore like if there's something that it has been basically keeping you stuck or keeping you in this this state of like not moving forward you're not available for it anymore and you're finding balance in this new either new location if you're physically moving or um if, even if you're traveling this could bring a new form of balance and a new form of self-love that you have not been able to really connect with before because of maybe your environment or and i'm also hearing y'all i just got a download that this also could also mean that your mental facility because you're a gemini so you're always thinking like thinking is big for you um thinking and communication your mental like defaults like the things that you think a lot or like your dominant thoughts are going to elevate this month and use this to your advantage y'all because here's a little secret your dominant thoughts manifest your reality. So you're really going to lock in on that truth. And you're going to use that to basically create more balance in your life. Some of you guys can reconnect with your father or um, because this, this card is called Father Sims. Um, reconnect with your father or just like connect with a father figure or somebody who has um, that mentor energy to help you go to your next level. So let's get a card for week three okay two cards wanted to come out so i'm seeing that week three is when you're really going to um be around other people or other people's energy will be prevalent in your life so i'm seeing that there is a relationship coming through so definitely stay tuned for my um love readings for each of the 12 signs it'll be more in depth into love this is more so a general reading but i'm seeing that you're seeing things from a new perspective and there's going to be a new opportunity here for you to basically 
create a environment for yourself that is more conducive to the version of you that you want to be throughout this month. Some of you guys could literally move homes or move somewhere and basically redecorate your space. Or if that's not the case, you're going to go, you could go on a romantic trip or go for a trip with somebody and you guys could have, start to have more serious conversations about um, what's coming next for you in your relationship and things of that nature. You have a secret admirer also who really likes your you to be in your feminine energy or if you um are a natural masculine energy person who's watching this you're really you're gonna find yourself really attracted to somebody who's in their feminine energy but basically i'm seeing that you're really taking care of yourself self-care is going to be really big for you guys this month and basically creating this life where you feel comfortable in your own skin you feel comfortable in your body you feel comfortable with where you're going and what direction you want your life to go and you are actually taking steps mentally you have that mental clarity to take steps towards that and to create that for yourself so let's get a card for the final week of september so nine of sticks so nine of uh wands you have a lot of resilience this week and i'm seeing that with the um the the knight of uh coins at the back of the deck some of you guys could be studying astrology this month you might be one of those lucky ones who gets into the gems bundle for this once in a lifetime sale because of this look at this right here um yeah so basically this you're really standing your ground and you're protecting your energy like you're literally protecting what you believe in and you basically are in this energy where you're like actually don't f with me like actually i know direct the direction i'm going in i know where i'm going and you're very resilient like i'm hearing that if you have been going through a difficult situation you're actually a lot stronger than what you realize and you can get through the situation a lot quicker with your mental your mental capacity and your mental willpower so use this energy of mars going through whatever placement you have whether it be sun moon or rising to really stand firm in what you believe in and have that never give up attitude and have that never give up energy towards you where you're just going towards whatever it is that you want unapologetically without any um blocks or whatever and also i'm hearing that i just heard healing through past traumas and releasing them out of your body so mars is connected to and i'll talk about this more in the astrology reading portion of this but mars is is very much connected to um your body and your blood and like the physical form of yourself because it's the natural first house ruler and the natural first house is your body so you're being asked this above this tell reading is showing me that to release any traumas or dramas that have been stuck in your body some of you guys could literally like seek out a trauma therapist or a um a specialist somebody who specializes in regulating the nervous system and basically because gemini is so connected to the nervous system y'all um so basically regulating that and having more mental clarity and I, I just heard having more of a, a flow with your thoughts so let's get an affirmation card for you guys to help you create your fortune this month because on this channel y'all we're all about using these esoteric tools astrology tarot all that stuff to create our fortune like i'm not here to tell you um i'm not here to make you feel worse about yourself i'm here to make you feel better and about yourself and make you feel empowered so what's a, um, an affirmation to help Gemini's create their fortune this month? I am able to accomplish anything I set my mind upon. So yeah, you're in this building phase of your life. And this kind of goes with the Six of Swords energy being like the beginning energy of this month where you're having more mental clarity. And it's almost like, yeah, I, I, I was having this vision of built blocks being built. Um, and this is basically your grand vision being built. I just heard some of you guys 
creating a vision board will be really beneficial. It says, what is it that you desire and you haven't succeeded at yet? So writing down some monthly goals will also be really beneficial for you guys. Divide and conquer. Give yourself time and divide your plan into small pieces. After each victory, you will feel uplifted and ready to do more. So definitely, I'm seeing that there's just this energy of, of building brick by brick and actually having the mental, um, yeah, what I seek is seeking me. Having the mental capacity to actually like do that and having the the strength and the resilience to do that and standing your ground and protecting whatever it is that you're trying to create for yourself so i actually want to get a self-care card for you guys one second and i also want to get a card for you guys on how you can create your fortune a tarot card so let's get a self-care card on how you could create your fortune for the month of September. Self-care is so important. Just one card, please. For my Gemini besties. Connect with your ancestors. So yeah, there's a spiritual energy here. Like six of swords with the with the um temperance it's a very spiritual combination and it's giving this energy some of you guys can can reconnect with male ancestors at this time and really just um they have messages for you basically so really connect with them definitely follow me on my tarot channel i'll link it down below um because i'm going to do a urgent messages from your ancestors on that channel and if you want to learn more about tarot and using it for self-development and personal development, definitely follow me on my Patreon because that's where all the tea is. I have an astrology Patreon and a tarot Patreon. So let's get a tarot card, a, um, a final tarot card, then we'll close out this reading on how you can create your fortune this month. Some advice. Okay, this card flew out. Of course, it's the Knight of Swords with your Gemini ASS. The Knight of Swords is all about communication and standing in your truth and communicating your truth. And I'm hearing that be really aware of the words that you are saying. And I just heard avoid saying things that you will regret later, especially if you find yourself in a heated debate or an argument. Because as a Gemini, your words tend to manifest really quickly. And especially if you have a um, a Pernabasu placement, um, which is inside of Gemini from 20 degrees to like 30 degrees. If you have a placement there inside of Gemini, which if you have no idea what I'm talking about, join me on Patreon, on my astrology Patreon and get access to the free side world or tropical to side world conversion course because tropical astrology is like mainstream astrology, whereas side world astrology is based off of the, where the planets really are. And that's where you can basically unlock the power of the structures. But basically, yeah, watch what you say at this time and watch how you're saying it and watch what you're feeling when you're saying it and really watch your inner dialogue. I'm also seeing this as watching your inner dialogue and looking at this photo, y'all, there could be a location that you go to. It could be a school. It could be a church. It could be somewhere where there's a lot of people I'm seeing. And they could be saying a lot of things that don't really resonate with you and your truth. And this could be that energy of you moving away. It could literally be a church because we have a, 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 kind of like a church here. And then we have the uh, Bible. She's holding the Bible. Really be aware of that. And just because you identify with certain things like you don't have to like identify with everything of what it, like if you're in school and you're learning something and it just doesn't sit right with your soul it doesn't mean that like all of it won't sit right with your soul but be aware of what what, what information that you take in that gives you kind of like a huh reaction because this is um this is how you're going to create your fortune it's really standing tall in your truth um and standing true in your truth and communicating that truth whether it be in a public sector um in a private sector communication is going to be really big for you guys this month you have a lot of energy concentrated on your planet right now whatever planet that you're what your sun moon or rising 
So it's important for you guys to really be aware and watch what you're saying and what you're doing. Um, but especially what you're saying is what I'm seeing on how to create your fortune for this month. So something's telling me to get one more affirmation card because you're... Um, you're the communication energy is so strong because even temperance is connected to communication. Um, I believe in myself. So believe in yourself. Yeah, believe in yourself. Like even whatever is going on outside of you, believe in yourself. Know that you actually are strong. You're worthy. And it says if someone you care about needed encouragement, you would show support and faith. Then why wouldn't you do the same for yourself? Give yourself the same treatment you would your best friend. Yeah, like... Gemini's the twins so I'm hearing that sometimes you could like literally be have a dual dualistic nature to you where on one side like double-minded and when it comes to manifesting double-mindedness ain't is a no-go you have to literally be fully focused on your goal and what you're trying to manifest for it to come into reality this is why your dominant thoughts are so important and I have a lesson on in Pernavasu and Shaksha Gems about the power of words and why you need to use your words wisely. So I'm gonna link down all the Pernava or all the um Gemini Nashakshras down below the Nashaksha Gems, which is my course on the 27 Nashakshras. You ain't seen nothing like it because it combines astrology and tarot and spirituality and psychology and personal development to help you create your fortune using all those things I just named. And there is, if you're just already into the nashakshas, like you've been following me for a while and you, or you just know about the Vedic astrology, like even if it's your first time watching, um, and you know about the nashakshas and you want to learn how to use all 27 of them to your, to create your fortune to your advantage, I do have a back to school sale going on right now. It is, you can get all 27 nashakshas gems for the price of one gem, y'all. And there is multiple different payment plans. So if you pick the pay in full option, there's a Klarna and Afterpay at checkout. And there is also a, um, a three month payment plan through the actual Think If Excite where you can, it's a, it's a um, interest free three month payment plan. So there's a lot of different options for you. If that's something you're looking to do, I would get it as soon as possible because this sale will not be lasting forever. It is only for back to school. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you watch to the end, put a Saturn emoji in the description box or the, in the comment section so they know that you watched and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.